Hello, my name is Marcus Williams. I am the president and founder of the Marcus Williams Training Academy. So I recently completed a Title IX training program for Title IX investigators, coordinators, advisors, and decision makers at colleges and universities all over the country. I'm really excited about this training program because it takes a different approach. When I was a Title IX investigator, I found that a lot of trainings focused on the steps that you need to take but no one focused on the why or the reasons or the, the how behind that. So that's what this course is designed to do. So I created this course and then how do I get it out to all of the Title IX coordinators in the country? So I made the decision I didn't wanna just buy an email list. I decided to do it manually by hand. So I went state by state searched all of the colleges and universities in that state, and then looked up each institution's webpage for their Title IX office. There are a lot of colleges and universities in this country. So it was a very long, sometimes tedious process to do this. But in the process, I visited over 2,000 Title IX webpages. And as I did so, I began to learn a lot about the importance of having a well put together quality Title IX web page. And it wasn't just because some of the pages made it difficult for me to create my email list, but fundamentally, I started thinking about what is the purpose of these web pages? Who is the audience? What are we trying to communicate? What information are we trying to communicate? And why are we trying to communicate that information? And when you start applying that question to all of these web pages, there are a lot of schools that could do better. There were some that were really good, that were great. And others were, were complete fails. They were just horrible websites. And I understand some, some of the schools just had bad websites, so the Title IX coordinators had to fit their information inside something that was already a poor product. But in most cases, it was the Title IX page itself that was poorly designed. So I began taking notes, making this an educational or learning process for me instead of just a tedious email gathering process. And I have some of those suggestions, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, for you and there is so much information, there's so many good tips that I wanna share with you that I'm creating a video series. So this is the introduction video to my Title IX website video series. And I will release multiple videos that each contain one of the problems or issues that I saw and with some good examples and some bad examples. So I hope that as you walk through or watch all of these videos, that you will look at your website and think, can we do better? What can we change to make our website more effectively? Are we really communicating the message to our student body, to our university community, the things that we want to communicate, the message that we are trying to get across in our response to sexual misconduct. Now, Title IX deals with a lot of different aspects of university life, from athletics to programs to facilities. What I'm talking about is the most well-known in the news portion of Title IX that's responding to sexual misconduct, sexual harassment in the university that prevents students from being able to have a university experience or receive an education. And I understand there are rules and regulations, things that have to be put in these websites, but there are ways that you can do that to be in compliance with the rules, but still have a good website that communicates the message you want to communicate. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this video series.